Hey guys, it's Chris from Hope Club. Have you ever had an unexpected visit from a stranger? Ugh, totally. Tell me about it. We have all been there. Who are you? Me? <laughs> oh, I'm just a stranger who unexpectedly visited you. Well, get out of my house. Hey, there's no need to be rude about it. Psh, I'm out of here. Anyways, guys, we're going to talk about Mary in the Bible. No, her last name wasn't Christmas, as in Merry Christmas. But she was very important to the Christmas story because she was Jesus' mother. Now, Mary was minding her own business one day when she got a visit from an angel named Gabriel. Now, Gabriel had a very important message to give to Mary. And that message was that she was going to give birth to the long-awaited Messiah. That's the one that the Jewish people were waiting for to come deliver them. At this time, their country was being occupied and controlled by the Romans. And the Romans were not very nice to the Jewish people. And they were waiting for someone to deliver them. And they had been promised, we call it prophecy, many years in advance that someone would come to deliver them, the Messiah. And Gabriel, this shining angel, comes to Mary. Now, angels may not look exactly like what we think of when we see them in coloring books and these sort of things, but they, we know, what we do know is that they were very awe-inspiring, that they would make you go, whoa, what is that, right? And, and Mary, she responded uh, in a very interesting way. If you guys remember last week when we talked about Zechariah and Elizabeth, Zechariah also met an angel who was the same angel, Gabriel. When he heard the news from Gabriel that he was going to have a baby, he said, that doesn't make any sense. How can that happen? I, and he didn't trust that it would happen. But Mary, on the other hand, while she was still surprised and unsure how that would happen, she said these very important things. She said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So what do we learn about Mary here and hope? We see that when Mary heard the message of hope, she responded even though she wasn't sure how it was all going to happen, she responded to accept that hope and to be ready to play her part in that hope story. Guys, God is going to come to you with a message of hope. I believe he's bringing messages of hope to us every day. It might not come from a big, amazing looking angel, but it comes from our amazing God who's so much more amazing than an angel. Sometimes maybe we hear a story like this and we say, man, I wish I would see an angel. More importantly, we should want to see God at work in our life to give us hope. And I'm praying that you guys would see that hope. Because why do we have a heart and hope club? Because God's love gives us hope. So when God gives you a message of hope, guys, respond like Mary. Respond saying, yes, let this happen to me. Let this hopeful good thing happen and let me take an active part in doing what I can in this. Guys, I'm praying for you all. Stay awesome. Wow, that is an awesome story and that gives me a lot of hope. Well, I'm glad. Now, who are you again? <laughs>